back home onto Deal Street, engineering major Crompton Greaves has found itself a knight in shining armor. Private equity firm First Reserve International has bought Crompton's global transmission and distribution business for an enterprise value of 115 million euros. CNBC TV 18's Anisha Jain and Kritika Saxena get to the story. After the sale of its consumer durables business for 2,000 crore rupees, Avanta Group's Crompton Greaves has embarked on a larger debt reduction drive. The first step in this drive is the sale of its international power business, that's the transmission and distribution facilities in North America, Indonesia and Europe, at an enterprise value of 115 million euros or 851 crore rupees. This deal will fetch the company 85 million euros up front. The balance 30 million euros will flow in over the next 18 months. Crompton Greaves says it will use this money to bring down its net consolidated debt, which at the end of December 2015 stood at close to 900 crore rupees. With this transaction, the company is confident it will become completely debt-free at the consolidated level. On a more generic level, uh, yes, the intent is to become as debt-free as possible, reduce the debt to the extent possible. So the CG India already uh, rid of debt. It's only the subsidiaries outside India which are carrying the debt. So the intent would be to reduce the debt tending to do, towards zero. The international business has been a sore point with many analysts for a while now. After all, total outstanding loans to the international business stood at 1,600 crore rupees, which had prompted many analysts to ascribe a negative value to the international business. Now, some of this debt may be written off. But Crompton says the sale will give it the room it needs to focus on its domestic business, which has been showing signs of a revival of late. India has always been profitable. For standalone India numbers, if you look at it, it has always been profitable. There is uh, the fundamentals of the Indian business are looking, in fact, much better than they were looking a couple of quarters ago. So there is no concern on the India business at all. The sale of the international TND business will also open the doors to some much-needed value discovery in Crompton's overseas automation and domestic business. And this could lead to further upgrades. JP Morgan, for instance, has already increased the target price by 8% to 165 rupees per share. Some of this is already being worked in. The Crompton Grief stock surged nearly 9% after the sale was announced. In Mumbai with Anisha Jain, Kritika Saxena.